Today we're going to take a look at how easy it is to install and configure a website using WordPress with the Microsoft Web Matrix tool. So all I have to do is say File New Site from Web Gallery and I'm going to pick WordPress and I'm going to call my site WP1 and press Next. Now Web Matrix has discovered that I don't have my SQL which is a needed component of WordPress installed so it says would you like to use my SQL and I'm going to say yes I, would need, I need it and I'd like to install it on my machine. So Web Matrix then asks me to set up the root password and it's very important not to forget your root password. So I've just typed something in and I'm, I've confirmed it but always remember what your root password is. And now I'm just going to accept the end user license agreement for WordPress, say I accept it and Web Matrix will go off and download WordPress and download my SQL. Depending on your network conditions this might take a few minutes so we'll just come back after the break and we'll see that it's finished downloading. So now WordPress is finished downloading and it's installing. Now with WordPress you have to install a database that WordPress uses to keep all of its content. So you create a new database within the MySQL database engine that you've just downloaded and installed. And WordPress is going to have to log in as a user and you can see here the username is WordPress user. So I'm going to give that a username. I'm going to give that a password, sorry. And the database administrator in this case is called root and root is the only person who has the permission to be able to give WordPress access to the database. So remember earlier I said you had to remember the root uh, password so here I've just entered the root password. And the rest are just some phrases to help you remember the passwords. I'm just going to skip over them and now WordPress had finished downloading and now it's actually installing. And here we can see we've successfully finished installing everything that we need to run WordPress on my Windows box. So the MySQL database, the connector for database, PHP, which I didn't have previously installed, has been installed for me. It's all totally seamless and made very, very easy. And now you can see that my site has been downloaded, it's installed, and uh, WebMatrix has launched, and WebMatrix has opened my site into it. I can take a look at my site by using the Files tab here and we can see all the source code for WordPress has been downloaded and it's available in my site. WordPress after all is open source. Index.php, if you're not familiar with PHP, is the default page that should execute. Um, so when you, I run my site I'm just going to run it with index.php and we'll see now that I'm given the, uh, the basic install for WordPress. So I'm going to give my blog a title, I'm just going to call it Lawrence's blog and my email is, um, I'm just going to put an email that I sometimes use, inquiries at destinypress.net, allow my blog to appear in search engines, etc. Install WordPress. So now the WordPress source code has gone off, it's created the WordPress tables within the database where it stores all the content. And what it does, it's generated this random password for me that I can sign in with. I'm going to just copy that into my buffer um, so I can use it to sign in. And one of the first steps I'll do after I've signed into WordPress is to change that password. So whenever you run a WordPress site and you run on your root web, if you use the wp-login page, standing for WordPress login, uh, then you can sign in and you can get the administrative console within WordPress. So I'm going to sign into that. I'm going to say no to Internet Explorer remembering it. And now for the first time I'm into my site, Lawrence's blog, and I can visit the site to see what it looks like. If I do this and just maybe I'll open it in uh, my existing window and we can say, oh, look, this is my blog and this is what it looks like.